All right, so here we are in our new uh, Valentine's Day themed ba uh, uh, tavern, and uh, the new uh, comeback banner is out. So over the course of the next two weeks, I'm gonna be, I guess uh, every time I get a ticket, I'll just record me doing the summon for it, and then uh, I'll just edit it all into one actual, like I guess the compilation where it looks like I did all 10 steps, <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna be wearing shirts that are different every day. So uh, yeah, the new banner is out. Obviously I've already went over it a little bit, so uh, it'll be a little bit late when this video actually comes out, um, but uh, I figured it would be kind of fun to do. So uh, let's see if we can try to pull any extra characters on our summons, and uh, I mean even if we're going to get a couple of extra free coins off of the step up banners, or the step up rewards because I already have all of these characters, but uh, it is what it is. So got a pretty decent stance, but we got knocked back, so it is what it is. Got nothing out of that one, but the step up reward will kick in right here and we get a free copy of Blue Demon Meliodas. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, we're back. It's day two. Got another ticket. <laughs> uh, obviously, we're guaranteed to get Hawk on this one, so let's jump in, see if we can pull anything extra, which would be nice, because I, I would really like some platinum coins. But, you know, banner's pretty good on its own. I'm not, I'm not too worried about pulling extra copies of anything. Come on, give me something. <laughs> Even though we don't need it, it's nice to have it. What's the text? It's very, very neutral so far. Very neutral so far. A lot of golds. I don't know if we're gonna get a fake out or not. We're gonna, we're gonna skip. Boom. Okay. Unfortunate. Very, very neutral animations on the multi. Okay, so this is exactly what's going to happen to you if you, you know, pull a character. Obviously, this, this video is going to come out kind of late, so you guys are probably already going to experience this if you've already summoned, but mine was only level, you know, 60. Now it's up to level 80, which is cool because uh, now all I have to do if I want to use the character is uh, super awaken it and then I'm good to go pretty much. So uh, I don't know. Could be could be kind of interesting. Obviously, some of the characters aren't the best, maybe like the, the blue bond isn't probably like one of the greatest characters in the world, but honestly, like the rest of those characters, like Blue Demon Meliodas, uh, Hawk is kind of meh as well, but uh, Gother and King are very good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. So there was a one day like cooldown, like it gave you some gold or whatever. Uh, and then I actually ended up skipping yesterday. So we're just gonna do two tickets today. So let's hop right in, see where we go with this. Uh, I still don't think I've pulled an actual SSR besides the step ups. So, let's try to see if we can get one. This is a this this is a step that's not going to give us anything regardless. So if we could pull an SSR off this one, that would be kind of nice. All right, blue text, we're just going to skip. Right call. Understandable. And then I think yeah, this is the Gother step, which is really nice. Uh obviously, if you if you don't already have Gother, I definitely recommend you uh, invest into him. He's very good. So it's really nice that this comeback banner is actually giving free Gother and you get him at level 80. Six star. So, yeah, definitely one of the best units in the game, especially in the early game. Like, oh my god. Uh, we got gold text. Alright, but we're losing. Alright, well, can't win them all. I still have not got an SSR off of this. Got a coin, though. Free coin. And uh, I guess we will see uh, what we get tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. See you then. Alrighty, we're on step five. <laughs> still not got an SSR yet. Apparently, I did not know this, but actually, if you pull an SSR on this banner, the SSR that you pulled becomes a you are level 86 star as well and i didn't know that because uh, a friend of mine pulled a Griamor and uh it leveled him up so that was actually kind of interesting so i guess a lot of these characters even though a lot of these characters on this banner really aren't that great for me uh it would be nice to just have them like already powered up and stuff like that in case i want to mess with them in the future all right so that was a very even multi my game glitched up. I got an SSR though, so that's cool. I didn't see the little strings or whatever come in. Dan. Alright, let's see who I'm gonna max out here. 
I'm interested in ruin. Okay, I was actually kind of wanting to get Elaine um, just to go ahead and have her UR level 80 and everything because she's actually pretty decent for final boss king. Um, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Oh, it's even like UR in that little thing. So boom bam, upgraded. Interesting. I already had her 6 star, which is unfortunate, but uh, all of my characters are 6 star. So yeah, we didn't really get that much of an improvement, but it's going to help save on um, the you know, like a demon awakening or the demon limit breaking materials and stuff like that and the pendants and everything. So, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, see you tomorrow. Alrighty. So it's been a couple of days since I've used these tickets. Uh, I've been kind of just saving them up a little bit so that way I don't have to just record for like two seconds at a time, uh, each day. But, uh, we get, we got three of them. So we're getting king on this multi guaranteed. I'm still hoping we can pull a couple of extra SSRs, but our luck's not really been that great on this banner. So it's okay. All right. So we get the free copy of King there, which is really nice. Extra coin either way. And if I didn't have him powered up, obviously he would be now. Um, this one's probably looking like a dead one. Yep. <laughs> so you can get knocked back and still get an SSR? I don't understand that. Or maybe it's just this banner? I don't know, because I've, I've normally on regular banners I don't see that happen at all. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I mean, I already had Valenti powered up, unfortunately, so that's a little unfortunate that we got her. And then on the last multi, or well, last multi for now, uh, what can we get? Uh, let's look at the text. If the text is all right, we'll uh, keep going. If not, we'll skip it. Mm, gold text. Guess we can. Ah, uh, we're losing. We're gonna skip. We got another Valenti. Okay. I mean, I guess I could technically put those into her to make her ultimate better, but I really don't like using that Valenti anyway, so I'll probably just use those for coins. We do get the anvils though today, so that's really nice. But uh, I guess we'll come back and do these last two multis at some point, and uh, yeah, that should wrap everything up. So uh, I'll see you then. Alrighty, so here we go. Last two tickets. Uh, sorry in advance if you hear dog noises during this one because he's uh, a little rowdy this morning. But uh, yeah, so we actually get to pick our guarantee at the very end on this one, which is going to be pretty interesting. I think I know who I want. I think we're going to end up going with uh, Green Helbrum. And I know that's a little weird. This feels loud. Um, I know that's a little weird, but... I think Green Helbrum has a couple of different like use cases and different stuff. He's okay in like guild boss sometimes, um, as just like a, a like a person who can like buff your team with attack stats. Okay, well I got somebody. Alioni, I think it's this next one. I think my game's being weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I actually already have Arthur, which is a little unfortunate. But free coin, either way, so I'll take that for sure. Okay, so here's our choices. Valenti, if if you guys are looking for your own choice, um, Valenti's okay. She's not really used a whole lot in this meta. She can be okay as like a supporty style unit in Grey Demon. Um, Elaine is very minimal. Um, I wanted a copy of Elaine just because... Um, for Final Boss King, she was really good for that. She was pretty much geared towards that. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if there's anybody who has kind of like overshadowed her at this point. Um, there probably has been, but it just it saves me a bunch of um, like limit break materials either way. Uh, Green Lilia is really just not good in a, in a lot of situations in general. She's only a PvP unit, and even then, she's a very lackluster PvP unit. So honestly, huge skip. If you don't have Red Arthur powered up, he is a good unit. You can use him on uh, Mono Red with uh, Red Escanor, who's actually a coin shop unit. So if you need him, you can definitely go for him. He's a good unit. Uh, Blue Slater is another really good option because he's a really heavy hitter for Red Demon. Um, I was thinking about doing that one, but I really already have a, a decent team set up for Red Demon at this point. So I don't think I really need him like right now. 
Um, so I think I'm going to go with Fairy Hellbrum just because he's a good, like, he, he buffs your attack stats and stuff like that. Other than that, he's really not all that great. Um, Hendrickson's kind of, like, not good. He doesn't really have any use cases. Um, he's okay maybe as an association for certain units. Uh, same thing with Griamore. He's a, he's a decent association, but other than that, he's really not a great unit. Um, Hauser's a really good farming unit, but there's a lot of better farmers out in the game now. Uh, but I used to use him a lot like I probably used him for the first like six to eight months of the game uh, For farming purposes only like I would just put him on the farming team So uh, if you don't have a whole lot of like decent farming characters, he has two aoe attacks that are pretty decent um, So yeah, you could pick him if you really wanted This Gil thunder is pretty okay. Um, I, I would say he's maybe like my, my last choice of characters that I would actually pick but um, I honestly couldn't tell you what he does. I think this is the one that has... Okay, so this is the one that has the taunt, which is okay. It's not terrible. And then he has a shock card, which is pretty lackluster. Um, and then... Yeah. Ultimate Gauge really isn't all that great. So, I don't know. I probably wouldn't pick him. Jericho was my favorite character at the very beginning of the game. But uh, I think she's been way overshadowed at this point. She just really can't do uh, nearly as much as the newer characters can. But she's not a bad character. She's just a very, like, crit-heavy character that just kind of has dropped out. And she hasn't really been relevant in a long time. Uh, this Gila is not great. Uh, if I picked her, I would be using her as, like, a Jericho association or something like that. So, honestly, uh, my pick is on Helbrum. But, you know, if you need any of those other characters, feel free to pick those. dog is going crazy all right i don't know if we're gonna get another ssr here or not i think we're just gonna skip i think this video has been long enough i've been waiting for days to like hit this thing all together so here we go okay no ssr that's fine we're gonna get the hellbrum right here boom bam upgrades him from 60 to 80 that is perfect and then we are good to go so i think that is gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching uh this has been <laughs> two weeks in the making just because i wanted to do all of these tickets and everything like that and we get a couple of hammers which is really nice but uh yeah hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the free characters and everything like that and the one festival is going on right now hopefully you guys had pretty good luck with that so thank you guys so much for watching feel free to subscribe for more content in the future and i will see you guys in the next video